Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is this, which has got pigment and glitter, a nice winged cat eye. So if you guys wanna see how I create this look, then keep on watching. After moisturizing my skin, I'm using the Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation in the shade 50. The sponge I'm using is by Barely. And this one is a latex free washable makeup sponge. I love the way this one's been cut. It's like a soft triangle at the top and then a sharp triangle on the bottom. And it makes going around the sides of the nose and underneath the eyes really easy. So this foundation is a lightweight texture and it's a medium coverage but it's very buildable and it's the perfect foundation and base if you want to get that really nice glowy dewy appearance to your skin. So I recently received this Blank Canvas Cosmetics Multifolio Brush Holder. Depending on what brushes you are storing in it, it can hold between 10 and 12 brushes and it also contains a detachable mesh zip-up makeup bag. All the brushes that came in this I will list in the description bar. Next I'm using this Mascara 3D Foundation Palette and I'm using my F32 Small Sculpt Brush by Blank Canvas Cosmetics and I'm dipping this into the contour colour. I'm going to apply this down the hollows of my cheeks. Now this isn't too dark for me which is great, it's just going to add a subtle shadowed appearance. As we're playing up the eyes today we don't really want to go too heavy with the contour. What's great about this F32 brush is it's small enough to also apply the contour down the nose. It's actually quite similar to my Zoeva Vegan 109 face painting brush but it's a little less wide and I actually quite like that. As you can see it's made lining my temple area very very easy. To blend that in I'm going to use the Barely Face Definer sponge in the harder form. Being harder means it's more dense, it means it absorbs less of your product. Going back to my Mascara 3D foundation palette, I'm taking this highlight shade and using my E36 large concealer brush by Black Canvas Cosmetics, I'm going to apply a little bit of that underneath the eyes. I'm also going to apply a small amount on my nose, my chin, my cupid's bow and a little bit on the arch of both of my eyebrow bone. As we know, using a yellow coloured concealer, cream product or even a powder is very very brightening underneath the eyes, especially if you're of a more olive tone like myself. So this 3D foundation palette by Mascara Cosmetics is customisable. You can purchase the pre-made light, medium or dark palettes, but you can also customise it to suit your own skin tone. By the way, this brush is a vegan friendly brush, as are most of the ones I'll be using from Blank Canvas Cosmetics. But some of the ones I favour, like the flat shader brush, is made from natural hair. So now I've done the majority of the blending with the brush, I'm going to go back in with my Face Definer sponge by Barely in the soft version and just go over those areas to make sure they're blended well. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be using these pigments by Peaches and Cream. I have a whole variety of these but I'll be telling you a little bit more about Peaches at the end of the tutorial. I'm going to be using shadow shields to catch any fall down because we're using pigments it's likely it's going to get a little bit messy. The first pigment I'm going to be using is called Luna and this is a matte cream colour. And the brush I'm going to be using is the E35 which is also a vegan friendly brush. I'm taking this colour all over the mobile eyelid and up to the brow bone. As it's a neutral colour and it's matte, we're going to use this as a base for our eyeshadow and it's going to soak up any excess moisture on the skin from the foundation. The next pigment I'm using is called Selfie and I'd say this is a shimmery peachy pink colour. I'm patting that on the mobile eyelid from the inner corner and going two thirds of the way across. I've recently been using this colour on a lot of brides. Secret is the next pigment I'm using and this is like a shimmery cranberry colour, it's so beautiful. To start with I'm applying using the E34 blending brush, this is another vegan friendly one. And I'm applying this to the outer third of the mobile eyelid, working it towards the middle of the eye. I soon found working with the pigments it was a lot easier to use a flat shader brush because you can pack the colour on and then use the blending brush. But because I got excited about the new brushes and wanted to try them all out, I went straight in with this brush. But you'll see in a minute, I decided to swap to a flat shader brush. When you get to the middle, you want to turn your blending brush on an angle and just feather it ever so slightly over the centre. So here's where I switch to the E24 flat shader brush. Because the bristles are short and dense, you can really pack the colour on. Going back in with my E35 flat shader brush with the selfie colour, I'm just feathering that in the middle again and making sure we're getting a nice blend between the two colours. This is going to give us a nice ombre effect. And ombre just means gradient, from light to dark. The next pigment we're using from Peaches and Cream is called Posh, and this one is a warm chocolate brown, again with a sparkle in it. I'm going to use the tip of my flat shader brush to create the nice sharp wing on the outer corner of the eyes. Don't worry if it's not neat, we can clean up after. I'm taking the E38 brow finisher brush and my Kryolan Matte Madrid palette in the darkest shade. And I'm going to use that brush to really define the outer corner 
and create that nice sharp wing effect. If you've got hooded eyes, you might want to define the bottom half of the wing, but leave the top half softly diffused. Where you might have a fold, you'll find it hard to get a defined line on both bottom and top and make it meet symmetrically. So you might want to just diffuse it. I have got a diffused winged eyeliner tutorial, which I will link in the description bar for you. Then you can use these colors using that technique. So now I'm removing the shadow shields, and as you can see, I've got no fall down. I'm going in with my E23 pencil brush dipped in selfie, and I'm running that underneath the lower lash line. Then I'm doing the same with the pigment secret, but I'm running it from the outer corner, going two thirds of the way across my lower lash line, fading it into the colour selfie. Then at that very outer corner, I'm linking the bottom lash line up to the wing using the colour posh. For eyeliner, I'm using this gel liner by Sigma in the colour Wicked, which is black, and the brush I'm using is the E39 Ben Eyeliner Brush. And I'm simply going along the top lid, close to the lash line, and tracing the wing that we've created using the pigments. Again, don't worry if your line isn't crisp yet, we can clean up with concealer afterwards. I'm also taking that gel liner across my waterline, I'm also going to tight line, which is underneath the top lash line. I've already filled my brows in off camera using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I do have a tutorial on how I fill in my brows. The lashes I'm applying off camera are these ones by Eskido and these are in Lashmopolitan. The mascara I'm applying to my bottom lashes is In Extreme Dimension by MAC. This is really good if you want to get some drama going on to your bottom lashes to rival your top ones if you're wearing falsies. If you need to clean up under the eyes, you can use some concealer. I'm using my Kick-Ass Concealer by Soap and Glory. And I'm going back in with my E36 large concealer brush to do this. And I'm pulling that along the wing just to make sure there's no pigment fall down. I need to show you all of my Natasha Denona products, but this is one of the blushes and it's absolutely stunning. I'll put the name of this one in the description bar for you. To apply the blush colour, I'm using my F40 contour brush, which is really similar to my Real Techniques contour brush. And I received this after I filmed my favourite brush video. And this is definitely going to be one of my new favourites. Next, I'm going into the highlight shade. I'm going to apply that above the blush on the top of the cheekbones. And this really does give a beautiful glow. Now, you can leave the eye makeup where it is, or you can do what I'm doing and apply some glitter. This one is Champagne Wishes by Lit Cosmetics. I'm using the little brush that comes with the kit and I'm applying the glitter glue to the inner corners of the eyes. Then I'm just using the brush dipped in the glitter and packing that on top of where I've applied the liquid glue. Now remember this is cosmetic grade glue and cosmetic grade glitter so it's all safe for the eyes. Don't just be using any sort of glue or any glitter around your eyes. To add a little bit more dimension to the face, I'm adding some warmth around the circumference of it. I'm using my Cover Effects Matte Bronzer in Sunset and I'm using my F40 contour brush again to apply this. As you can see, I'm going around the hairline, a little bit onto the hollows of my cheeks again and down the sides of my nose and I am only dusting a light amount on those areas. I'm using Peach Stock Lipstick by MAC and this is a satin finish lipstick and it's a warm peachy beige tone. Over that I'm applying Max Lip Glass in Oyster Girl and this gives a really beautiful mother of pearl glow to your lips. This colour combo is definitely a new favourite of mine. So I hope you guys all enjoyed that. This look is suitable for people of all eye shapes. You can blend that line out, it doesn't have to be so hard. Because it's softer and it's wider and it's slightly diffused, you can get away with doing it over the hood of your eye. So it will take a little bit of practice, but the more you do it, the better you'll be at it. So the girls over at Peaches and Cream sent me a lovely, lovely package of lots of different stuff. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I posted a picture of it. I can't hold them all up. I've got tons of pigments, tons of lashes, and they're all really, really beautiful. All the girls over there are super talented makeup artists. If you want to see the work that they do, then go over to Peaches Makeup on Instagram. But they also have a YouTube channel, and again, I'll link that in the description bar as well as all the products. Now, I know a load of you before when I've used Lit Cosmetics Glitter, you've asked me where I got it from. I was actually fortunate enough to have it sent over to me from Lit Cosmetics. And I wasn't sure whether you could get it in the UK or not, but Peaches and Cream in Liverpool actually stock the Lit Cosmetics Glitter. They sell the little glitter kits. I will link that in the description bar and you can go over and check it out and see which glitter you want to get. So if you're interested in using the brushes I've used, you can go and purchase this on the Blank Canvas Cosmetics website. If you followed me from the very beginning of my YouTube channel, or even before I started YouTube and you followed me on Facebook, then you'll know I always, always use Blank Canvas Cosmetic Brushes because they're super, super affordable and they're really high quality. And they're actually made by a makeup artist, so that's why the quality is so 
good and the price is so affordable. I will link the brushes in the description bar. Don't forget there is a code. If you use the code SHONA, you'll get 10% off. And 10% off on already affordable brushes is a bargain. So make sure you go and purchase those. So the other thing I wanted just to mention was this beautiful 3D foundation palette by Mascara. Mascara Cosmetics is owned by Cara. <laughs> she actually got a YouTube channel herself where she shows you how to use the 3D foundation palette. If you go follow it on Instagram, then I will link in the description bar. In the inside, you've got a contour color, a blush, you've got a highlight color and an actual highlighter, like a pearlescent, and you can change these up. So when you go onto the website, you can choose the colors to suit your skin tone. And I absolutely love this palette. You'll definitely be seeing me use this more. And if you don't follow me on Instagram yet, and you would like to get your hands on these, then go and follow me because I'm gonna be doing a giveaway with one of these. All the rules on how to enter will be up on my Instagram very, very soon. Also, if you are a fan of ultra matte lipsticks, then definitely go check out the new Nude Collection by Melt Cosmetics. These are due to launch very, very soon. They're super, super amazing. I love them. So highly pigmented and ultra, ultra matte. And when it comes to lipsticks, I'm definitely more of a matte finish lipstick or a no lipstick and gloss girl. Does that make sense? <laughs> These are the four new ones in the Nude Collection. We've got Laced, Katsu, Nude and Sex, and they are amazing. So definitely go check them out. I will link them in the description bar for you. If you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you do. You can check out my previous two tutorials here now and you can click on those and it will take you to them. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and the links to those will be in the description bar below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.